in Cincinnati and across the country. The new LED lights produce more light at half the cost of the old street lights, but there's growing concern these lights may be creating hazards on the roadway. Dwayne Pullman has the exclusive Local 12 investigation. As night falls on the tri-state, a new brighter, whiter light is beginning to shine. Light emitting diodes or LEDs are at the center of these new street lights. The LEDs produce more light using half the electricity of those old familiar high pressure sodium lights. The lower cost bright light combo is why LEDs are now popping up on our roads and streets, byways and highways, even in a tunnel many of you drive through. According to the Ohio Department of Transportation, approximately 1,100 LEDs now make up the 46,000 streetlights on state roads and highways. But the nation's largest group of physicians, the American Medical Association, is now warning about a potential darker side to these LED lights. It's not a good thing, bottom line, right? That's correct. AMA President Dr. Andrew Gurman agreed to talk with me from Altoona, Pennsylvania. Dr. Gurman believes the light emitted by these diodes can be downright hazardous. According to this official AMA report, many of the new street lights could be considered unshielded LED lighting, which could be creating a road hazard. Does that worry you just from the ability to drive your car in and out of these lights at night? Well, yes, it does. Dr. German and the AMA say the potential hazard on the roads is caused by both the brightness and color of the new LED lights. Most of the LED street lights emit 4,000 Kelvins or 4,000 K. Now the 4,000 K lights are the ones that you've seen on some, some car headlights coming at you. And just like that car coming at you, the AMA report states, the same amount of light overhead can be very blue and very blinding. They are uh, about 29% blue light, which you can't see, but that light rattles around inside your eyeballs, particularly as you get older. Um, and that blue light can be very harmful. It causes glare. The AMA calls it disability glare an impairment that the report says causes a veil of illuminance, which leads to worse vision than if the light never existed at all. In other words, in some cases with LED street lights, the AMA report states you'd be better off driving in the dark. Those are strong words. Well, that's what's in the report. That glare is apparent if you drive through the Lytle, Ohio's longest vehicle tunnel. Workers are installing new LED lights on the side walls, and as you can see, they produce a lot of glare. Does that concern you? Well, the way you describe it certainly concerns me. After I brought the concerns about the glare of those new lights in the Lytle Tunnel, an ODOT spokesperson wrote to me stating, there is an ongoing conversation about what kind of lights will now be installed in the tunnel. There are other potential health effects of the new LED lighting in the AMA report, too, including a disruption of sleep quality. While that sounds trivial, the AMA says it's serious because the bright blue filled lights affect the production of a compound we all need to fall asleep. It turns out that exposure to large amounts of blue light interferes with melatonin production. According to the AMA, the new LED lamp is at least five times more powerful than high pressure sodium lights at influencing melatonin suppression. And while it's still being studied, the report states some evidence supports a long term increase in the risk for cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease and obesity from chronic sleep disruption associated with exposure to brighter light sources in the evening. And that risk rises when you drive under LED lights. The effect seems to last long after you park the car or pull into the garage. Or live next to the bright lights. Some of them have to make accommodations like putting blackout curtains and, and taking other measures to prevent that light from getting into their houses because they were noticing that they were having difficulty sleeping as well. According to Duke Energy, the highest concentration of LED lighting in the Cincinnati area is here at the University of Cincinnati, where 800 LED lights were installed at the request of the city, where students study 
and live. Certainly we're aware of the report. We have our own internal team that's looking at it and, and certainly seeing if there are other steps that we need to take with how we're using LEDs on our system. And according to that AMA report, the new street lights are even causing confusion for nocturnal animals, killing insects, birds, and in some cases, stopping fish from migrating. The U.S. Department of Energy, which pushed for these low energy lights, is disputing the AMA report, saying there's nothing inherently different about the light emitted by the LEDs. Now, there is good news here. The AMA says fixing the problem is fairly simple. The doctors recommend reducing that 4,000K bulb down to 3,000K. You can find out much more about this issue. Read the full AMA report for yourself. Just click on my story, Glowing Danger, on local12.com. Those links are right inside. I'm Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.